Hi dears, welcome to Race Education. It's me, your Sri Lakshmi ma'am. In our today's class, we are just going to discuss some MCQs which are very important and also 100% it will be useful for your upcoming examinations. Okay, so let's move to the first question. Here you can see a gas is evolved when dilute sulfuric acid react with zinc granules and also it is given that it gives a pop sound when lit matchstick is introduced near it identify the gas four options are there which are the options nitrogen gas is there hydrogen gas oxygen gas and also carbon dioxide gas is given which is the right answer before moving to the right answer just tell me when a metal react with acid what are the products formed there we can just see we are obtaining two products one it is metal salt and the second one it is a gas here the gas produced will be it is the hydrogen gas because whenever a metal react with acid the gas produced there is it is hydrogen gas so here what is the equation how can we write the equation for this experiment when zinc react with dilute sulfuric acid so we can write zinc react with h2so4 what are the products formed here metal salt is is forming and also hydrogen gas it is forming am i right which is the metal salt here it is zinc sulfate what is the chemical formula for zinc sulfate it is z and so4 so while you are learning any mcqs just go through all the aspects okay kind of our mcq to answer maatram padikunnathinte pagara adu related aayittulla baaki ella options um adu pole thane baaki ella aspects um cover cheythu ningala maximum padikan shramikka okay now let's move to the next question next question it is related to neutralization reaction okay so let's read the question in a neutralization reaction when excess of acid is added to an alkali salt and water are produced what is the nature of the solution after the reaction occurs as we all know neutralization reaction means what when an acid and base or in other ways we can say that when an acid or alkali react with each other salt and water is forming am i right that is known as neutralization reaction but here it is specifically given that we are just adding excess of acid while we add excess of acid what happens to the nature of the solution it will be having an acidic nature am i right so here the correct option it is option b the solution will be having an acidic nature because excess acid is been added in it okay next let's move to the third question what is the ph of the acid which is used in the formation of common salt common salt means it is nacl nacl in that number a the acid and base one you say another we are using nacl to get product as nacl we use hcl as the acid and naoh as the base all right that number change the naoh HCl react in the term of the get another NaCl in the parina salt namaka libicina that also water is being formed. This is also an example for neutralization reaction itself. Here they are looking at what is the pH of the acid. Here it is hydrochloric acid. As we all know, HCl is a very strong acid, therefore, the pH value has to be very low. Am I right? So here we can say that the option A is the right answer because. 1 to 3 is the correct answer. 6 to 8 to 1 chance and 8 in the world is alkaline item. So, if you have any option, acidic pH value is the option A. Okay, clear. Now, let's move to the next question. Which compound in the table reacts with acid to release carbon dioxide? Which compound in the table? Okay, here it is given. Four compounds are given. In this compound, we have to react with acid. We have to react with carbon dioxide gas. Metals are metal hydrogen carbonate right react in the alum metal carbonate right react in the alum namak in the alum produce in the salt water and carbon dioxide gas is being produced lay up on the bottom even a correct answer in the alum it is calcium carbonate because metal carbonate our day metal hydrogen carbonate our day you better react even a product I didn't get another than a carbon dioxide gas then you know what are the peculiarity of carbon dioxide gas it just extinguishes fire LA and also when this carbon dioxide gas is passed through lime water the lime water will turn milky precipitate in the end of the carbon dioxide they confirm it to test on a top hydrogen to the pop sound of another bowling carbon dioxide net and the confirmatory test on up now let's go to the next question what is the saturated solution of NaCl called and either saturated solution of sodium chloride number in the parent Anna it is known as brine solution okay it is known as brine brine in the day and I'm looking for another next one either on the table given below shows the reaction of few elements with acids and bases to evolve hydrogen gas okay uh, which of the following elements uh, forms amphoteric 
Nitric oxides. Okay. Now we have a few elements. We have these elements. We have acid and base. We have a reaction. We have to make it. Now we have to make it. Amphoteric oxide. We have to make it. But we have to make it. Which of the elements form amphoteric oxides? What elements are amphoteric oxide? We have to make it. Amphoteric oxides. They will react both with acid and also with base. Then we have to make it. Acid and base might react in the area. It is B and D. So the correct option here it is option B. So we can see B and D are the amphoteric oxide item. We can select the amphoteric oxide. Clear on the end. Amphoteric oxide means they show both nature. Acidic nature and basic nature. For an example, we can say aluminium oxide and also zinc oxide are also the example for amphoteric oxide. Okay. Next question in Dana, in which of the following setups would the bulb glow? Nala pictures namakutanda tenda. Either the bulb glow chain the The only difference is that the solution that we have taken in the beaker. Am I right? Here we have just taken dilute hydrochloric solution. That means dilute HCl solution. Here I have just taken alcohol in water. In the third option, sorry, this is the second option in the second option i have taken sugar solution in the third option i have taken alcohol in water and as at last in the last option i have taken lime water among all these four setup edilana electricity conduct cheyidatta ivide enki bulb glow cheyan sahayikunnathu नम्बर पढ़ी पॉइंट आट इस एन आक्टिविटी दैट इस गिवन इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक सैकंड चाप्टर आक्टिविटी आम पढ़ी आसीड इन सोल्यूशन इन वाटर इन द प्रसन् ऑफ वाटर दे प्रोड्यूस एच प्लस अयो दीस एच प्लस अयो हेल्प टू कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिटी सो वि कैन सी दैट ऑप्शन वणिले इलेक्ट्रिटी कंडक्ट बलब ग्लो आलसो इन देश ऑफ आलि अलग बेस् दे ऑलसो प्रोड्यूस ओ एच माइनस अयो इन एवडियान इन द प्रसन् ऑफ वाटर दाफो इवे बलब क मेग्नीम Dilute HCl. Magnesium reacts with dilute HCl to produce hydrogen gas, which helps in floating. Magnesium reacts with dilute HCl to produce N2 gas, which helps in floating. Magnesium reacts with dilute HCl to produce CO2 gas, which helps in floating. Which is the right answer? Here, now we have to do all those things because magnesium it is a metal. Dilute hydrochloric it is an acid. When metal reacts with acid, hydrogen gas is being produced. Alle, this hydrogen gas are in the end of the a floating event. It is a high kind of the okay. इन आठ तक चोदिये, how will you protect yourself from the great, sorry, from the heat generated while during a, uh, sorry, while diluting a concentrated acid? Concentrated acid ने dilution इंगेने आना ना ना चोई जाते, how can we dilute? अलें, अब अपन नमस्त्र दिखने वाले point डलता, एक बार नमला वैल्लो में acid मोटे डी mix या बचो, never, अब अपन नमस्त्र दिखने देता है ना, वैल्लो में acid तो नमले इंदिया में चला, मोटे डी की mix या में चला as it will occur to 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 by adding acid to water with constant stirring is the right answer a bit of option a on a correct answer as it occur to 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 Okay, now we can just move to the last question. Here you can see the last question. Why it is important to balance a skeletal chemical equation? Skeletal chemical equation balance is what we have to do. The options are to verify law of conservation of energy, to verify the law of constant proportion, to verify the law of conservation of mass, and to verify the law of conservation of momentum. So, you have to do the answer. You have to comment in my comment box. Okay, you have to comment in this video. And also, you have to comment in this video. Topics are very difficult to feel like our topics. That is chemistry chapter in the question. Topics in the question. Next video, we will do the related title. So, I hope all the questions were useful for you. We can see in our next content video. Until then, bye-bye from Sri Lakshmi.